Hello beautiful people, welcome to my channel. How are you doing? This video will be making our hot oil. Here is a sample of the hot oil I made. So if you want to know how I make this oil, please keep watching the video and go nowhere. It will be a very short video showing you how to make your own hot oil. This oil is just like the one we bought. We buy in the market. We buy it in the market. This is the glycerite, a combination of high quantity of glycerin and a propylene glycol and less of water and other ingredients. So keep watching to learn how I made this hot oil. Good people, welcome back to my channel. This is Rosie Bella Naturals, and in today's video we are gonna make a hot oil. That's oil we, we you usually buy and when you touch on your skin or your palm you see that it's hot to the touch such oil like white now oil um skin perfecto all those uh, kojic sam and so so we're gonna make such oil those oil we buy from organic store when you get organic store is of different color they have orange they have blue green and cool and they call it hot oil and you know it's very effective that oil is one we're going to create today we're going to make such oil today so join me as we make our oil here is my hot water here is my hot water my hot water into this hot water i'll be adding our water paste ingredients i'll start by adding in my edta this is a curator and it will help to tackle whatever metallic substance is in the water and leave it free. Remember you have to use distilled water for this purpose. You have to use distilled water. Here I'm using 0.2% which is 0.6 grams of power. Uh, Create a chelator or chelating agent. Stir that in the hot water. It's not dissolving. That means the hot water is not hot enough. You can see it has fully dissolved. See how clear this glass is. But because the water is small, it's cooling off so fast. So I need to go reheat it because I want to add. Let me check the temperature first. Alright. Forty two centigrade. Let me reheat it. Hold on, please. So I went to reheat the water. While that is heating up, let's measure out our phase A, which is glycerin at 120 gram. Measure that out. This hot oil can also be called a glycerite. Because it is glycerin base, you know, it has more of glycerin to every other substance in here. So, 120 of that. I want you to see this cable. <laughs> Cannot place it right. <coughs> but that is 123. I don't know. I don't want to take it out. You know why? You can always top it or top the substance with your glycerin to meet up to whatever measurements you want to make. So this is 123. I will leave this at that and measure out my propylene glycol at 75. So. 75 of this
that is 75 grams of our propylene glycol. Next, we'll be to adding our sodium lactate. Please google the benefit of all this as I want this video to be just a short video. There's a sodium lactate. This is a great moisturizer and help all these ingredients to penetrate. So I'll just stir that up and I'll set it aside. Set it aside. Let me go get our hot water. Here is the hot water, hot, and I'll be adding in my, I'm adding in there my snow white powder. I'll add that at 15 grams. Let me measure it out before adding. That is 15 grams of our snow white powder. I'll quickly add it into the water. We add it bit by bit and stir. Bit by bit. Just bit by bit. You add the stir up. You add the stir up. Bit by bit. That way it will dissolve in no time. While that is clearing out, I'll add in my mycorrhize um, powder, white mycorrhize powder. I'll add this to the production because I want it to be very, very active. So I'm not using just the snow white alone. I want to be a very strong whitening oil, strong hot oil. So I'll add that at is grown. Like six gram of panico rice powder. You can use your nico rice root powder. I choose to use my nickel rice. If this is not clear enough, I need to take it back to heat. Heat it a little. So let me finish adding. I'm also adding my Giga White Powder. Oh, wow. If you want it to be a strong hot oil, you don't use just snow white powder because you know there's usage rates that you can use your snow white powder except you want to go above board but we are using this also we're using this at 9 gram this is a very strong powder and you can use in pro mixing I'm 
I'll go and double boil all this too. Make sure those dissolve. So I should have made use of my other powder and not my Jigger Whites. I completely forgot that Jigger White won't make it when dissolve. But let's just continue. So this is my water face powders already dissolved. I will add into it my face A. That is my face A. That is mixture of my glycerin, my propylene glycol, as well as my sodium lactate. And you stir. Keep stirring. It's supposed to be clear. Please, when making yours, choose powder that can dissolve and not make it. such powder like uh, vitamin B3, uh, your sepi whites, your snow whites. So, adding Giga White, I completely forgot. No problem. It's still very active and that is the most important thing. So, we we'll add in our saffron extracts into the production. Let me measure that out. Let's get this at six. That is my saffron extract. Add this in. Lastly, I'll be adding in my preservative. You need to preserve your hot oil. You need to preserve your hot oil. So, I have to preserve your hot oil. And that will be at. Here is it, a preservative. You go ahead and add in your essential oil if you wish. But I'm adding in my, what I won't add in is my fragrance as I'll be using this white oil for further production. You can see it. This is so nice. This is so good. This is just what we need. The ingredients are just fully combined. Add more of my extracts. Now we see this before bottling it. So we'll just sieve it out using our any of our cheese cloth to make sure there's no particle in the oil. Be sure to sieve it out. Don't just bottle it this way. When you are done sieving it out, you bottle it. Then it's ready for sale. So here is our hot oil. You can bottle this and sell and give it any name. Here is our hot oil. I did 300 gram batch and that is exactly what I got. So 
this is the hot oil. You can use this in your lotion, you can use it directly on your body. Let's see how it feels to the skin. Let's see how it feels to the skin. Wow, it feels warm. As you massage it in, it feels warm. You feel you, it has not got to the quantity. You can add more of your glycerin, you see. That is our hot oil there. Thank you so much for watching. The good oil. It combined completely well. Here, oil and water do miss. Hope you are seeing it. Oil and water miss in here. That's because the quantity of water in this production is very small. While that of glycerin is high. So it blends completely fine. None of these ingredients float on top. This is a glycerin. This is our hot oil, our whitening hot oil. And this can be added to your lotion. So thank you so much for watching. Thank you. Please subscribe to my channel, like my videos, and share to your family and friends. Thank you and bye. So here I am adding in my essential oil. That's my tea tree essential oil. So I added in about 15 drops of my tea tree essential oil. And I'll stir that in. And that is the end. Wow. And oil. 